Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's Angelo back with another video and in this video today I'm gonna be showing off my jersey collection. I have a lot of jerseys and since I have the time to make this video now since we are in quarantine, why not? But yeah, let's get right into it. But before this, please go follow my Instagram Angelo122. It helps you keep you updated whenever I post a new video. So I'm just gonna pick a jersey at random and then usually every jersey I bought there was a story to it or a reason why, like not just to buy it but there was definitely a reason or even how I got it. I'm also going to include some jerseys that I got for people. Oh, well, here, let's start out with one. Uh, oh, this this jersey means so much to me. This one is a Patrick Kane white um with like one of the authentic ones. Everything is stitched in. This one actually means a lot to me because um, it was 2013 during the Stanley Cup Finals. My mom, as a going away present, when she moved to Atlanta, that she'll get me a jersey of my favorite player. I was hoping for red, but they only had white and I was totally fine with it. The reason I got this jersey was because of a sad reasoning. Even though it doesn't really fit me that much because that was like 5th, 6th grade, um, I'm always going to keep it because it because of the significance on why I got it. Yeah, I'm gonna see if it like really doesn't fit. One, two, three. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just like the sleeves, they like, could be like, look at it. It does, it does fit a little small, but let's get into the next one. And mom, if you're watching this, thank you. I still love this jersey that you got me and I can't wait to see you soon. So looking at this jersey, you see all the stitch, but in all like the indents and how much I've worn it, and e even look at the patches, they're all stitched in, and then right there, all the wear and tear it has taken over fate and fading, over being washed a lot. Now this is also one of my favorites because of the Stanley Cup Finals patch right there, and also I like the NHL emblem that they have for the neck, and then the logo. Next one. Ooh, okay, so now we got the Little League World Series, um, as it says right here, and basically these are the nickname jerseys. This one is El Mago, so Javier Baez. Here, let's put this on. Three, two, one. This was one that I actually wore to a game with my mom. It was her first Cubs game, and um, I remember the day I got this. I was working in Gallagher Way, and on my break, um, I went to the Cubs store, saw that they had the jerseys. This was the only El Mago one left in my size. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. Cause, and then it also felt good because um, it, we get 30% off working there. But then when I got after, the lady who gave me my break was supposed to start giving other breaks at two. But she gave me my break at two. Then I got in trouble for being late when it, when it was her fault. You know what? I don't want to get into it, but I'm just saying, it, like, that was just... Because after, after that whole shit, after she lied and got one of my favorite supervisors mad at me, I just didn't talk to her the rest of the season. That may be a little petty, but nah, I'm, I'm not dealing with all that shit. So for right here, it says Cubbies. I wish it said Chicago, but it doesn't. And they have the Cubby Bear patch, which I really like. And right here for the Little League Classic, basically they played in Pittsburgh where the Little League World Series was. And on the back they have their nicknames, and this one is Javier Baez's nickname, which is El Mago. And then they have the number right. The next jersey is in three, two, one. So this is a Winter Classic of, I believe, what is it? Uh, 20, 2019, um, they played at Notre Dame. I love this jersey so much. You remember uh, two videos ago, I showed how I wore this one to the Blackhawks game uh, with my sister. Thank you, Alma, if you're watching this. See, I don't really have a lot. Whenever I bought a jersey, it was for Patrick Kane. So when I saw this one, it was like $50 on eBay and everything is stitched in. And it was Jonathan Taze. I'm like, this is perfect. I don't have a Taves one. Now I can get it. And if you're wondering what the 21 patch is for, is because Stan Makita passed away in 2019. You gotta love a black and white jersey. This is like probably my favorite Blackhawks jersey. Like I may have said when showing the jersey, this is a Jonathan Taves um, jersey for the Winter Classic of 2019. And right there is the patch they played in at Notre Dame in the football arena. So they it's the Fighting Irish and that's why they have it. And then for this patch, that's when Stan Makita passed on. 
Here we have my favorite part of the jersey. It's the logo on the front. They just took the regular one, but then made it in black and white. And it's just so amazing what they did with this jersey. Because Blackhawks jerseys are like, are just amazing in general. And speaking of the next amazing Blackhawks jersey, let's see this one in three, two, one. Bam, see this shit? Ooh, look how nice this is. Everything is stitched in on this one. This is also a Jonathan Taves one. You gotta love the red Blackhawks jersey. Like, I also bought this one just to increase the um, amount of Taves jerseys I have. I don't really like the Adidas jerseys that much. I don't know, they're just not really for me. Yeah, I got this one during winter break. It was really early in the morning. I saw a jersey though, like this one that was ending like an eBay auction for in like 36 minutes. I put a bid for $30. And I won it for $30. And, oh wait, Omar texted. FaceTime Omar. How you gonna text me and not even, okay. You could tell by the marks on the numbers that I have worn it in um, the Adidas patch right there, obviously. I like the Reebok ones more, but on this one, um, this is the only jersey I have where the uh, patches on the side are actually stitched in. And then this is like uh, a strap to hold on to like the pants that they wear during a hockey game. And then, oh my god, the stitching for the Adidas jerseys on the logo are really amazing. And I love what they did with it. So, um, you know what? Let's get into a basketball jersey in three, two, one. So right here, we got a Nike Swingman jersey of Michael Jordan. And I remember what the date, like, okay, not the specific day, but what happened that day when it released. Okay, so it was sophomore year. I was in the middle of class, saw that they were releasing, and then I, I thought people were gonna resell them. So I went ahead and bought it, and then I realized on eBay, you could get Jer Michael Jordan jerseys for like $40. And then I tried to cancel the order and I wasn't able to. And then when it arrived, I got excited that I was gonna wear it a lot and then it fits a little too small. So I'm just gonna say I took the L on this one. So for this jersey, I don't really like the material that they did for the Bulls jersey. It is Nike though, and then, but yeah, just look at it. It looks so cheaply made. Like, I don't really pay attention to the Bulls right now because they suck, but when they were good, my favorite player was Derrick Rose. And Derrick Rose in his prime, oh my god. Um, we would have won a championship that year. All I'm saying, like, I'm not gonna get further into it, but we would have won. And I'm just gonna get basketball out of the way with this next Jordan jersey. Here, let's do the swap from white to red and when I bought this one I was thinking about this video that I wanted to do the um like my jersey collection and that and I did it for the unboxing too so that's the whole reasoning behind that one why I bought this one and also it was really cheap so that's why I bought it also I like red more Ooh, I, I need to get one for my grandma because Michael Jordan was her favorite player she loved Michael Jordan so next year so here we got a Khalil Mack in white and so I bought this one when the Bears were having their really good season I bought it the day they were placed they were facing the Philadelphia Eagles when I should have waited because I had a, or a $50 gift card for Nike that I got for my birthday and the Bears jerseys were 100 so if I so then it'd be half off so I'm like fuck it I'll buy that and then Cody Parkey oh my god I'm just gonna insert the clip right here Bears season's gonna end on a double doink. That's why I made that face right now. That's why I'm disappointed because of Cody Park. No. Another Nike jersey, except it's for the Chicago Bears this time. Obviously, it's the away jersey because usually away jerseys are in white, except for like the Dallas Cowboys, I believe. But it's um Khalil Mack, number 52, and then. Um, got the Nike logos right there. This jersey, right after the Bears lost, they went down to 79, and I could have used it and got this for 
25. But Khalil Mack is like one of the best selling jerseys right now. He had a great season with the Bears. Hopefully he can have a better season next year. But oh my god, I miss sports so much. And Tom Brady signed with the Buccaneers. Oh my god. But I'm just gonna get football out of the way. This is actually my dad's jersey. It's a it's another Khalil Mack, except all of them are stitched in. Like the lettering and the numbers, which is Oh my god, I wish I had this one. See, he also likes Khalil Mack right now. Basically, if you're a Bears fan, your favorite player is Khalil Mack right now. I wanted it to be Trubisky, but I just cannot. I, no, no. I got this for him for Christmas, and he loved it so much. Because he's never actually had a Bears jersey. So for me, when I bought this jersey for him, and to see that he was so happy, it made me really happy. So like I said, my dad's jerseys I'm not going to put on. Javier Baez in royal blue, um, I remember this day, so I was working that day, I was with my cousin Olivia, and I was like, I don't know, it's Father's Day, and it also counts for his birthday, what should I get, she was like, you work at Wrigley, just get him a jersey, shit, you're right, I was trying to think of who his favorite player was, then I saw a Baez one, because I remember I also asked him who his favorite player, he said Baez, and I saw it in his size in royal blue, because he likes royal blue more, and I was so happy but yeah here we go and Javier Baez oh my god I, I love Javi and now we're gonna go to the second to last hockey jersey so if you notice this this jersey is different than one of these jerseys because of the logo here let me see when the, this logo I believe was after was before 19 oh no was 1957 yeah 1957 there's no player on the back but what i do like is the the strings that they have i don't really wear this one a lot like if i wear a jersey i like it to have a player but i only buy like a jersey like a player who's significant to the team like patrick kane michael jordan um javier baez chris bryant only who won a championship with the team the only thing different about this Blackhawks jersey right here is the um, hockey strings, um, the patch right there, and the logo, obviously. I'm gonna get hockey out of the way. Three, two, one. Okay, so I just got back from grocery shopping. The reason why I went grocery shopping is because my camera died, so I needed to take a little time to let the battery recharge. The jersey we left on was this Reebok Patrick Kane one. I'd say this is the jersey that I just casually wear around, or I wear it to school sometimes. This is like the one that I wear when there's a Blackhawks game. I don't really wear the Adidas one. Um, I haven't had the black one for a long time, so I've always worn this Patrick Kane one. And I got it for $50 when um, the NHL switched to Adidas. It's not fully stitched in like the other one that I showed you. So now headed on to the Patrick Kane jersey that I have for Reebok and another NHL shield that I like. And also, see, you could tell that I wear this jersey the most. Look at how used it is. But on the sides for the patches, there are no fading, unlike the other one. On the back, like I said, Kane. Let's go to the next one. So if you guys recognize this jersey, this is the um, championship Cubs one for the World Series 2016 one. It is bias on the back yeah this is one of my favorite ones because it has the gold right in the back for the players it's obviously means so much to me because it ha it's the world series championship from 1908 to 2016 that's 108 years this jersey might go for something in the future obviously with what stands out with this cubs jersey most is the gold on the lettering for the player and the mlb shield and also the cubs world series patch I just kind of want to finish it up. So the next jersey we have is a Wilson Contreras jersey. Basically, at the end of the season, we were able to take the amount of tokens we got. And tokens are something we got if we were, like, did something out of the ordinary, like, for good, like, really outstanding service. And I was able to get 12 of them, which was equal to $200 in Cub Store credit. The only thing that sucked about it is that we can only use it on one item. This was $135. And I used the 200 thing and they said I couldn't use it for anything else. I was so mad. This is the only Cubs jersey I have where none of the letters are stitched in. Those are just the iron-on patches, but it's still a nice jersey. Wilson Contreras is like one of my favorite players because of his personality and the way he plays. I believe he's the best catcher in MLB right now. And now we are going to move on to probably one of my favorite Cubs jerseys right now. And 
three, two, one. Here we got a fully authentic stitched in Cubs jersey of Chris Bryant. This is the alternate blue jersey. Um, you have the National League logo right there because the Cubs are in the NL Central. And I really needed a Chris Bryant jersey. I was on the fence about getting one because you know, um, there's obviously rumors all the time he might get traded, he might leave. Either way, he was part of that iconic World Series championship team. See, now you can really see the patchwork that they've done for this jersey right here and why it is one of my favorites because look, everything is stitched in. Even the MLB logo is different material and then they have the um, National League patch which they don't have on the ones that aren't stitched in. And, um, yeah, next jersey. Has to be my favorite Cubs jersey out of all of them. Here we got, Ant here we, this is my first ever Cubs jersey. Um, it's Anthony Rizzo on the back. Um, it has the World Series patch right there. Now, this is my favorite. I'll put the picture right here. Because in 2016, my mom got me this as a gift for Christmas. And I got a package. I was excited, and then I opened it up. It was this awesome Cubs jersey. Anthony Rizzo, um, my top, like, him and Javi are uh, my two favorite. And it's like one of the jerseys that really got me into collecting jerseys. Anyways, guys, I really hope you like this video. It's something that I wanted to make for a long time. So comment down below which one of your, which one of the jerseys I have is your favorite. Or just comment, like, what jersey do you have? And follow my Instagram, Angelo122. Please let me know if I should do that sports channel. I'm really wondering. Stay safe and stay inside and enjoy the rest of your night or day. Bye.